we spent the morning moving the combine, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't stick around at uh, Jim's farm any longer. There wasn't enough there for three combine to warrant three combines staying there. Jim and Jack are over there. They're going to finish that off. How many acres was left? Do you think? Oh yeah, so definitely not worth keeping three combines there to do that. But they are going to finish it off, which means we were able to move the combine back up to Alistair's. We'll have a little look at the corn, Peter. You notice the head, you said the heads are quite small on the corn. Yeah, tiny little heads. I mean, they're half the length you'd expect them to be. Hence, you're not getting any yield. So no no yield from this field, unfortunately. And most of the fields are like that, aren't they? A lot of them have been like that. Yeah. Straw's not too bad, I don't think it's getting some straw, but it's just no corn. Yeah. So it looks like a normal uh, field of uh, wheat out there, but I'll show you what once we get out, I'll show you what the uh, the heads are like. They're, they're half the size, or even a third of the size, what they should be, really, yeah. aren't they? I mean, some of the fields we've been cutting again, no straw and no grain, so at least the straw is flat. Yeah, when you were planting, you said you were having trouble to see a mark and stuff like that. Yeah, it was very dry and they weren't the greatest seed beds, but they'd gone, they'd gone hard and it was a bit knobbly, but it, it was what it was, you couldn't do anything about it. No. And if it had rained, it wouldn't have mattered, it, you know, it'd have grown fine, but yeah. the fact it stayed dry, and the fact that none of the crops this year tillered. No. You've got one stem with one head on it, that's all for me to grow a new plant. Yeah. So. It'd, be, uh, it'd be quite interesting next year because we started off on a worst year for everything, haven't we? It's you know, like vlog wise and stuff yeah. like that. So next year, fingers crossed, <laughs> should be back to a, a you normal what, issue. You know what all these poor crops correspond with, don't you, Matt? What? You turning up. Oh, yeah, that's it. So uh, uh, maybe I'm a bad omen. You're a jinx. <laughs> Not see, awesome could not time. see where I was going, I hadn't got the foggiest. <laughs> I thought I'd got it right and then it came up. Oh it? mate, you kept that quiet as well. Oh, of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't see what you were doing, could you? Not, uh, I hadn't got a clue. <laughs> I, gave, I, I had to get Amish to come and roll it in the end. That'll be interesting. Oh. Right. Oh. I'm so nervous. Right, what do I do? Right. <laughs> That's forward and reverse. That's turn your header on. Right, it's very sensitive. Don't go shoving it forward a lot, just a little tiny bit. Right. Then you need to press that button once and the header will go down. Ah, oh, press R, yeah? Press it now? Yeah. Hang on, Hang on. pull your steering wheel back so you got that in a comfortable position. You yes? Know? Yeah. Right. Push it down. Okay, uh, press R now, would you? Yeah. Do you have to press this in the back? No. Right. Oh, to, to move the stick forward, you will, yeah. But not for the header down. Now? Yeah. Is this recording? Yeah. I've got to record concentration on your face. Oh my god, Peter. Right, you will have to just say if I'm going wrong. If you're going wrong, you want to swerve back this way, because it's going to. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to fix that bit. Oh, I'll have to put it right. Oh, no. Right, speed up a bit to about 6k. How do you watch all that? I can't do it. How fast am I going? Fine. Yeah? Right, you need to watch the header all the time to see if there's a blockage or it's bulldozing. Right. And if there is, pull your stick back to neutral quickly. trick to try and keep it well it's not on guidance is it so you watch it just in case something does go wrong so right. you're in control 
Right, so if I block it out, I've got to empty it, have I? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Look at that concentration on his face. Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Look, man. <laughs> How do you turn on? Do you just get used to the sounds and the. like, like any job? You start hearing yeah, a lot of sound and then. You hear an unusual sound. And you'll see the corn doing something weirdly, will you? Uh, what? When, it's, you know, when like, it's blocked, you'll, you'll see it. When it's pushing, you don't get any warning about it. Just take up the soil up here in front. Ah. And you have to stop quickly. That's a tricky thing. That's a tricky thing. Yeah. Right, now swing it round full lock. Oh, yes. Oh, man. We're going to look at Matt's wiggly line. Missed a bit there, mister. Uh oh, that's perfectly fine. I missed it there. You missed oh. stuff there, Matthew. You're, you're missing stuff. <laughs> oh my god. How's that for a wiggly line? Follow my wiggly line. How do you straighten it back up then? Will you follow just, that tram line. Just put, the, just put that in there. Yeah. Yeah, that'll fix it. <laughs> so, what do you think? Easy. Easy. I'm, I'm, now, leave, I'm now a combine. I am now the four winds combine king. I will leave you to it and I'll have a sleep in the tractor. Okay. Don't leave me because I don't know what's going to happen. There we go. You see? I made that look easy, Pete. I made that look easy, mate. Well, it's not too, <laughs> not too difficult when it's standing up. It's when it's laid down flat that it's difficult. Yeah. Look what Peter done. When I was driving, no problems. Peter takes over, nothing but problems. There we go. You're free, Peter! Right, we're gonna jump back in the tractor. See, that wouldn't have happened if I was driving. Lovely straw. Considering all the rain that's been on that, that's not bad straw. We just check the ears. This is the main issue up here. Look how big that ear is. And it's not just one, they are all extremely, extremely short. And you just want to make sure that there's no grains left in there. If there's grains left in there, then there's some of your settings are wrong on the combine. They are all thrashed out of there, which is good. That means Peter's not missing any. But look at that. That's the biggest problem here. Let's, uh, let's just show you some full ones. When Peter stops, all the straw's still coming out the back. So he leaves a big clump like that. And then the baler man has to go ever so steady. Look at that. These ears are just half the size of what they should be. That's not, that's not the right size. Look at this. When you've got lots of these, it's hardly worth going for. It's a third of what it should be. They should be, let me try and find a good one. <laughs> There's no good ones. Uh, that's a better one. That's not a bad one. That's what they want to be. Want to be full, big, and when you've got little piddly things like this, yeah, just uh, and that's just you know that's how dry it was when we uh, when we got planted up here. But at least the straw is nice. Uh, we're not having this straw. Uh, another farmer up the road is going to have this straw. The moisture started at 19%. We've got a dryer here. The uh, the grain 
the grain store here is uh, a dro has drying capabilities so uh, we'll get that dried down uh, it's a lovely warm day today nice breeze so that's gonna dry off pretty quick and uh, they won't have to dry everything then we're just down at Alice's grain bin you've seen this grain bin the grain bin you've seen this grain barn before uh, it's when we were cleaning it out on this side was the barley we came up here and cut barley a few weeks ago uh, we're now on the wheat so the wheat's going on this side just put our hands up the grain doesn't look too bad and the one thing we were a bit scared of was uh, the grain starting to grow and it looks like we've beaten that which is good that's good um, and so through the tunnel there there's two giant fans blowing air underneath at the back there uh, we started a earlier than we normally would so the moisture was a little bit higher uh, so Alice is blowing air all under the floor there heated as well so and it will blows up through the corn and dries the corn that way uh, he's got a special little tool here this is a spear that you stick into the corn and it tests it for moisture and it tests it for temperature as well you don't want your corn sitting in a in the uh, in the barn that's too hot from the Sun because uh, in the middle of summer the Sun can heat up the corn and uh, that can send it bad as well so you then you have to start using spears or if you're like this you've got underfloor system where you can blow it you can do that um, so we're just going to test the moisture into the corn and then it gives you a readout on here 15.2 that's about bang on that's where we want to be it stores nicely at 15.2 you put your hand here you can feel the drop feel the air coming through uh, 15 to you want to be under 15 to store it good so um, we'll get this pushed up and uh, we left the, uh, the bit at the start there we didn't want to make it high because it takes a very long time to get all of that corn dry you keep it at a nice level and it'll dry evenly and nicely and quickly we've got a good day today it's a nice bright sunshine and uh, the corn's drying all the time which is good so uh, from now on we can start coming up and up and up uh, because it's at the right moisture. Not going to get too close, it's very dangerous, it's sucking a lot of air in and I don't know how it all works so uh, you need ear defenders on if you're going in there. The two things there, they're blowing hot air in and the fans are sucking crazy amounts of air blowing it through that tunnel and under the floor uh, you don't want to get in there on your own uh, we've got young Hamish out here who's been doing some topping doing a nice job out there Uncle Franklin's with us uh, looks like we're going to get a nice sunset I've been waiting for a good sunset for uh, weeks now so you'll be able to see in the distance there there's a big John Deere tractor and uh, looks like a crone, a big, big baler. Those things just absolutely eat fields for breakfast. They, uh, it doesn't take them long to clear a field with one of those. We'd usually have loads of footage because we usually make a load of big bales ourselves, but this year we just haven't had, we haven't had the, uh, the crops or the yields to, uh, to make any. Uh, we usually get a contractor in to make them. Uh, we'll put the drone up, have a little look at his setup. I'm sure he won't mind.
disaster. Peter leveled all of this land himself. He did it himself. And look what he's done. I bet you he blames somebody else. I bet you. Uh, there was some old stoneworks here and Peter dug them out and we, uh, we re-leveled everything. It was unusable land. We couldn't use any of this. But uh, we did some work here. That's what the weeds are. Uh, Peter dug out all the old rock and stuff. Re-leveled it all. Uh, but it's a little bit soft, you can see. How these balers pack these bales is unbelievable. That is, I'm not joking, that is so tight. That is like a, a house brick. That will weigh an absolute ton. What they'll do is use, uh, they'll bring a tractor and some trailers, use spikes, they can load them up two at a time. Some tractors they can get special grabs that load them up four at a time. But that machine is impressive. That is, I can't believe how dense that is. Really hard. Cool. In case we miss the sunset, there it is. It's a glorious one, and we're full up, and we've got to go to the grain store. It always plans out like that. You never get to. Uh, it's not far away. We're going to quickly tip it, come back. We might still get a nice red glow to the sky. Beautiful. Right. That is it, we're going to end the video there. There is some really cool shots, there's some cool machines. Uh, nice sky to finish off with as well. That is probably going to be the last of the harvest videos. Uh, we might do some videos of picking bales up, but I'm really behind on videos. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for following us along on our journey through harvest. It hasn't been the best one. Uh, Peter will finish this farm off. There's another day here tomorrow and then uh, he'll head up to uh, Graham and Martins and uh, they do their own corn cutting so Peter goes up there on his own and uh, then we're done then we're finished with harvest and then it's just a case of picking up all the straw picking up the bales and, uh, and then getting ready to get cows in we've got some silage to pick up we've got some we might be making some hay depending on the weather uh, so there's still plenty going on, but um, yeah, you know, it's been a hard harvest, but we got there in the end. Uh, next we'll be cultivating, turning the ground round, ready to plant for next year. Uh, young Andrew and the farm are going to take over, and they'll go through until it gets too wet to cut, and then they'll start again tomorrow. So uh, yeah, nice one. Cheers for uh, sticking with us.